Yo everybody, what's up? Welcome to the first video of mine in a really long time. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't really want to dive super deep into it because I already posted a post about it. So if you want to hear why I quit, go to there. But if you're here to talk about Overwatch, that's what we're here to talk about. Um, so Overwatch 2 recently, they released a dev blog, uh, probably a month ago now, where they kind of had a roadmap for what's coming for the next few seasons. Um, and honestly, it's looking good. And I know you're probably very used to me looking pretty fucking negative on this channel and having a pretty bad, like, down-looking perspective on this game. I actually do think a lot of things are looking up. Is everything flawless? Absolutely not. There's still some very major problems that need addressed. Um, but we are actually looking up for the first time in a while. And I think that's really good. And I think, honestly, uh, everyone should be excited somewhat. Never get your hopes up super high. I'm never going to tell anyone to do that. But you should be somewhat excited because honestly this is all really good stuff and i do need to commend them because i feel bad a lot of my channel is just them shitting on overwatch i love this game i do and i want to talk about the good things so that's why i'm talking about this pretty much um so the first thing i want to talk about is venture uh venture came out recently uh for a little two week or not two week a weekend uh a little extra than a weekend a little time where we got to play venture a little early um, and I'll be honest, Venture's the best Overwatch hero they've had in Overwatch 2. I'm, I'm gonna stand on it. I'm, I'm not even a DPS player, but they are so fun. They're the first character they've added that wasn't, that doesn't have a matchup that feels miserable in my opinion. And also to be fair, uh, I am a Reinhardt main just going into this video. So you do need to understand that I am pretty biased to be honest, as towards a lot of the other characters, uh, especially a lot of the t DPS and the tank role. I have some pretty major problems with both of them. Uh, support, I honestly, is probably the role I have the least problems with right now. Uh, but, Venture, all things considered, very fun character. Is she a little broken? Probably. But she was really, really fun. Or, not she, they. They were really, really fun. Sorry. Um, also, it's as easy as that, just for you guys, you assholes, before you come into my comments. Don't spread hate, there's no fucking reason. Nobody, like, <laughs> I don't care. It's... It's just a video game character, man. It's not the end of the day. It's important for everyone to feel represented in something. I get it, man. I do. I really do. So, please, that's the other thing. Don't be a dick. I will actually delete your comments if you're going to be a dick. I, I... Sorry, man. I'm, I, like, I'm part of... I'm, I'm a guy who's... Well, I don't... I like saying, like, I'm a free speech guy. Because I'm not. I'm not like, yeah, we need to be able to talk. But, like... Come on, bro. Like, it is important sometimes to be able to uh, talk about things like this. And uh, you should be able to say what you want. But also, just don't be a dickhead. It's not that hard, bro. It's just somebody else's life. Let them live it how they want. So Venture, I had a lot of fun playing Venture. They were super fun. Uh, their abilities, super fun. Their ult, super fun. Every, honestly, just love them. Uh, I actually am super excited to play them again. Uh, I probably am going to swap to a DPS main, honestly, and play them. <laughs> Uh, which I know is kind of crazy, but you're going to hear why I'm going to swap uh, soon enough, I'm sure. And speaking of that, let's go into the next big thing um, for next season. And then I'm going to talk about kind of some of the balance for the game before I dive into the like more specific stuff. Uh, the other major thing is heroes are no longer in the battle pass. And you will know that this has been one of my biggest complaints with this entire game since the very beginning. Heroes being in the battle pass was a terrible, terrible, money-greedy decision. Um, and I think anyone who defended this genuinely was, like, I don't like to, like, in, well, okay, I guess calling someone a shill isn't exactly, like, insulting them, like, as a person. But I uh, I will say that I, I genuinely do think a lot of the people defending that were defending it because they love the game for no other reason other than that because i think it's literally indefensible to have heroes in the battle pass it's it's literally just pay to win <laughs> like it literally is and nobody cared for some reason well okay that's not true everyone did care the casual audience did care then they didn't play and now look at it <laughs> now we're where we're at we're at where we're at um and i think that's that's a pretty good way to say it but with all that being said, I don't want to be too negative about decision about this decision. I do want to say that this is actually really good. Uh, the all of the heroes should have been available from the beginning because in a game, especially 
especially in Overwatch 2, because the counter swapping in this game is so much worse than it was in the last game. I know I said I was going to be non-negative in the rest of the section, but I had to say that because that's just simply true, and locking heroes behind the battle pass was making it worse. Um, but honestly, there's not too much to say about it, other than it's just a good thing. That, like, everyone should be pretty glad that that's happening. Um, now, moving on to the state of Overwatch currently, before I get into a lot of the more specific stuff. Um, and that is, is the state of Overwatch currently, I will say the balance, in my opinion, is not in a very good way. I, I think the game is fun for two roles. I think for the other role, it's absolute misery. Like, I, I genuinely, I'm going to say it, I think this is the worst the game has felt. Probably ever for tank. I've played a hell a hell of a lot of tank, okay? I've played through the Overwatch 1 content drop. I've played through double shields. I've played through all of this. I've played through everything. And this is, in my opinion, the worst it's ever felt. As of Ryan main, at least. By far the worst it's felt, too. It's not even close. It feels fucking miserable. I am, like, I was wanting to stream this season. I have not streamed once because of how boring. Not even how boring. Just how unfun it is to play because people just counter swap. It just ruins the game, in my opinion. I, and it's fine if Blizzard wants that in the game. It's their decision. But I will say that it it ruins the game for me. It is to that level where I am literally not playing your game because of this, how it feels on tank. Um, and now that's where I want to dive into the specific of tank. Uh, specifically, I want to start with my main. I am going to make a full in-depth video on Reinhardt because he is at a degree now where I think he needs a whole video for himself. Um... But I do need to bring it up here since you know, this is kind of my everything thoughts. Reinhardt is absolutely dog shit. Do not listen to the people telling you otherwise. Is he always dominant in the lower ranks? Yes. He will always be dominant in the lower ranks. That's just how it is. Um, and that's fine, in my opinion. But once you are out of, I would say even gold. I know that's a hot take. I know that people are going to be like, well, no, plat, you can still get out. And I agree. You can still get out of plat. But even in plat. And even in gold, to be fair, you're going to get counter swapped about half the games, half the games. They're just going to swap to Arisa. And to be honest with you, and no matter how good you are as Reinhardt and Arisa should win. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, no, not if it's only one counter, uh, literally half the characters in this game counter Reinhardt in one way or the other. So I'm would be very shocked if their DPS doesn't counter Reinhardt. And I will dive way deeper into Reinhardt in a different video. And I know this is like this is probably the thing I'm going to be the most negative about. But I think it has to be said. They have handled him horribly. They have done him terribly. Reinhardt has been done awfully. And this is the most important character in the game in my opinion. To me, obviously. Everyone has their character that they love. But to me, Reinhardt is Overwatch. Without Reinhardt Overwatch, I would have never played Overwatch. I wouldn't have never loved Overwatch. Um, and I find it really sad that the best design tank, in my opinion, and the most fun tank, uh, is probably the worst right now. If you wanted an honest, like, placement of where I would put him in a tier list, he would probably be F tier. Like, it is that bad. This man is horrible. He is genuinely a throw pick. The toxicity I have seen this season against me is actually absurd. Like... And I know toxicity, toxicity, uh, I'm not the type of guy to normally be like, all right, this is toxic because honestly, look at me, I'm a white dude. I don't get like racist. No one's racist towards me really. And if they were, I would kind of just laugh at it. It just sucks, man. The, to the toxicity plus how bad it feels is making Reinhardt specifically feel like, like I've played some shitty games. I'm not going to lie to you. I've played some shit ass games. I've played like every battle royale that came out for like two years straight. This is the worst I've like worst gameplay loop I've had in any of them. Any of them. This is the least fun. And it's tank in Overwatch, which I love. I love. And I know to be fair, a lot of people are going to say that I'm overreacting. And it, it you're kind of right. And the only reason I'm overreacting is because like I said, Reinhardt is Overwatch to me. This is my main. He is. I one trick this guy. This is. He is the reason I play Overwatch. He's. I. I got top 500 with him last season. I fucking love this guy. I love him so much. He's so fun. And I would say I'm pretty fucking good at him. To be honest with you, I like. I don't like the flex or anything, but I am pretty damn good at him. If I have almost a thousand hours in, on him, I should probably be pretty good at him. Um. And he just feels like bad, so I, I don't want to go too deep into that. I'll have a whole nother video about Reinhardt in the future, so 
can wait for that. Uh, but state of tank overall, um, honestly, there is one good thing I will say. We are no longer, in my opinion, in a meta like we have been for the past, I would say, 10 seasons uh, of where one tank is just dominant. And it's there's one tank who's playable for each season, pretty much, it feels like, or each half of a season. It's like, oh, Aris is meta. Oh, okay, now Hog's meta for the other half. And then it's like, oh, Aris is meta. Oh, now Hog's meta. Oh, Hog's meta. Oh, now Ramatra's meta. Oh, Junker Queen's meta. Oh, now Winston's meta. And it just keeps switching like that. Reinhardt never got a part where he was meta because, he, honestly, 5v5 just hurts Reinhardt. So I don't think Reinhardt will ever be the best again, which is pretty unfortunate. But I just want him to be playable, to be honest. All right, I'll stop. I'm going to stop. But not a fan of that. I will say, though, they fixed that somewhat. But now we're, we've finally, finally, I think tank is finally balanced. And now people are seeing the problem of 5v5, which is counter watch is horrible now. It is horrible. And I, I know you've heard this already. You've heard all of this. But one thing that I've only heard one other person talk about, and that was Samito. Or, yeah, it was Samito, I think, right? Yeah, it was. Is that the casual players are now being hit by this counter swap game compared to before when the you know the two tank synergy thing that was extremely rare to find anywhere below i would say diamond you would not find tank synergy and i played the fuck out of overwatch one so i would say i i was a pretty knowledgeable at least on the casual experience on the top 500 sure i i wasn't ever there really I, maybe at the very end of its lifespan lifespan but i was never really top 500 in overwatch one but i can say and as someone who's been every rank in overwatch 2 that counter swapping is a problem in every single fucking one and if you want to win i'm gonna be honest with you counter swap it's that easy you just counter swap and you will win especially if you're tank if you're playing tank and you just constantly counter swap you will win it's that easy i've been doing it i've my rank has gone up significantly since the start of this season. I started the start of the season all the way down in gold, in gold three, because I, I got all the way to, I think it was Masters five last season in roll queue, because I was only playing open queue last season, uh, pretty much. And I'm already back up to plat one. I'm pretty sure I can get diamond. Uh, and I haven't been playing that much Overwatch this season, as I said earlier, because it's not been very fun, but I'm already that high ranked. And that's just because I've been counter swapping. Um, and I'm sure the back play, the background gameplay for this video is going to be a specific uh, video I took of a game showing just how bad this counter swapping is and how often people will counter swap. And I think during this game that is playing in the background as well, the enemies are being tra are trash talking at me, which I would say is the worst part about all of this. And I don't I have no problem with trash talk. OK. You can trash talk up a fucking storm for all I care. That's fine. It's it, it's the day. It's a game. It's just for fun. Like I trash talk, trash talk. It is what it is. Um, as long as you're not like being personally attacking somebody or something, I'm fine with it. Um, but like everyone now, for some reason, a sp I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna. Say, I think honestly, at the casual rank, the most babied role is genuinely might be DPS because I'm gonna be honest. Support a lot. Uh, well, okay, and support. Support gets babied. So, and tank. All of them are babied, but I'm gonna say DPS gets babied a lot as well here. Um, with everyone just kind of is saying, "Hey, I know that tank sucks right now, but the other two roles are fun. So sacrifice yourself." And it's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? I've already been sacrificing myself this whole time. I've been playing tank since the beginning. What do you mean? I already let you guys play the fun roles, and now you're telling me I have to be have even less fun on the less fun role. I get it, kind of, and I know that's not what it sounds like, not what they mean usually, but that is what it sounds like a lot of the time. Um, but so yeah, overall, I would say tank is honestly in a pretty bad spot right now. I would say tank is needs serious help. And soon, I think we're going to start seeing a massive problem of a lot of tanks are going to be quitting Overwatch soon if tank stays the way it is. Because I've been, uh, I'll be honest, I quit tank. I completely quit tank. I play, um, I play quick play, rarely, on tank to stay warmed up. So hopefully when they do buff it, I'll be able to play the game again. But I've honestly been playing DPS. I've been getting my DPS up, rank up, because I've always been in silver on DPS because I played... DPS once at like the very beginning of Overwatch 1 and never again. I was like, I'm going to play Reinhardt forever. Uh, 
<laughs> but that's been that's been the state of tank now state of damage these two are going to be a little shorter damage i actually think is the best right now best damage is super fun i've been playing everyone everyone's really fun snipers are fun flankers are fun uh the new hero is fun uh like literally even torb is fun literally all of the dps are fun which is super nice and and the other crazy thing counter swap i was thinking about it and counter swap feels nowhere near as bad on dps because there's so many options there's with dps it feels like there's three or four of each like category of dps that you can choose between so it's like oh they countered like let's say they countered uh i don't know uh they countered Widow with a Sombra. Then you're like, well, okay, if their Sombra is countering me as Widow, as a tank, normally, you're just completely fucked. You've got to completely switch your play style. And you got to switch to, if it was a tank, it would be like if you're playing Winston, they swapped a Reaper. You just got to completely change. You can't play Winston anymore. Um, and you can't play a Winston-like dive character anymore into Reaper. It's just not possible. Um, at least not feasibly possible and winnable at the higher ranks especially or even at the low ranks a lot of the time unless you are significantly better than them which you shouldn't be unless the rank system is bad which I don't think it's that bad right now but I do think there is a slight problem of some people are put too low and they are just significantly better than where they should be um, but damage actually pretty fun all things considered is it perfect no is there still problems like yeah I think Hanzo is still really frustrating i to be honest though i think there's just characters that are just frustrating like i think bastion's another one that's just frustrating like the second i run into a bastion i'm like oh my god this fucking this is awful or torb is the same thing every single time i run into one of these guys i'm just um i think it's because those are tank busters which i that is another thing i'm gonna say i we do not need tank bust we just don't Tanks already die instantly, bro. We do not need a fucking Bastion who will destroy me even faster. <laughs> like, we don't. Um, if we do, then tanks need more health. Or more shield. Honestly, I think Reinhardt needs 2,000 HP shield again. But that's a hot take I'll talk about in a different video. Um, uh, support class is probably the one I've been playing the least of, to be fair. Um, uh, I've been playing a lot of Lucio, though, and a lot of Brig. Uh, and it's honestly been pretty fun. Like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been really fun, honestly. There's still slight problems, like I will say, some supports feel way better than the others. Like, Mercy feels really not that good right now, in my opinion, at least. Maybe I'm just bad, uh, but Mercy is my second most played character, and she really didn't feel too good, in my opinion. Uh, and Ana is the same way, I don't think Ana feels great either. I think Ana feels better now that she got buffed, but she still doesn't feel like the best. Uh... Lucio feels really fun, though. I really did like Lucio. I, I always think Lucio should always be somewhat meta because he's just so fun like he just speeds up the game <laughs> like that's just it it's like reinhardt like i don't think reinhardt should ever not be strong like i feel like reinhardt should always be an option not the option but an option um my support's honestly pretty good i will say there's one thing and i can see why some people would say that they don't like support as much as they have in the previous seasons but I think that's just because support has been so broken, which I, I've been, I've said this before. I think support's been super overpowered since the beginning of Overwatch 2. Uh, maybe not the beginning, but since like season two of Overwatch 2, I think support's have been pretty fucking broken, uh, like literally broken, and and it's been ruining the game. I think this is the first season where support is actually balanced, like how it should be. Uh, there's still definitely outliers and characters that are balanced kind of badly, but. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, so pretty much to just summarize it really quick at the end here. Uh, tank, very bad right now. DPS, I would say almost perfect, honestly, with, to be honest with you. I think DPS is almost in a perfect state. It's super fun. I feel like I'm able to switch constantly. I don't feel like counter swapping super annoying in that role. The passive is great. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention that. The DPS passive, I thought was gonna be a huge failure. I had a whole video made just talking about the DPS passive that I decided to not push out and wait uh, just to see how it kind of went. And it ended up working pretty well, actually. I think the DPS passive was a good idea. It actually makes, it, it fits damage really well. Like it feels like it should go on damage, which is you should be able to kill targets, like have a, easier time securing kills 
um, and that just fit really well. And I'm, I'm glad that's there. I still do think it needs some adjusting when it comes to tanks. I, I think it's actually insane that a tracer single bullet from across the entire fucking map hits you once and you lose 15% of your healing. And Tracer can shoot like 45 bullets and like it feels like a second. Like this shit is, it's bad. And Bastion's the same way. Like the spam characters make it a lot less fun. Uh, but I think that's pretty easily adjustable. There's two very easy solutions in my eye, which is the first one being you make it a threshold, like make it like 15 damage or something. And it's like, oh, okay, now it activates, which would be fine. Cause most bullets do 15 damage. It's just, I don't think that the like one damage across the map should negate your healing for no reason that's stupid um and if you don't want to do that then just make it affect tanks slightly less overall which would be fine because i i think tanks shouldn't be hit by it as hard because they are supposed to be tanks like i'm not supposed to instantly die i know that's what's happening right now but i'm not supposed to be I, at least in my opinion i think tanks should be tanky they should survive uh i know personally uh a lot of people would rather have tanks that push in and die and like are like bigger Strong, like dps essentially but that's not what i want i want tanks to be tanks to push and take space but that's not what's happening it is what it is um and then support is also in a pretty i'd say a good state i wouldn't say so i'd say damage is definitely in the best state out of all three right now i think damage is actually super fun uh it, and honestly that's all i really care about to be fair is if it's just fun which it is it's super fun um there is, it's also got other things though, like I said, like it counter swapping, it doesn't affect it as much. The DPS passive makes it really strong. Like it is just a good roll right now. Um, and then like I said, sports just good. It's, there's characters who I'd say need some work and there's definitely some, I would say some like ideas maybe to make support slightly better, but people have, but I, I honestly think support should take a backseat for a little bit. It's been pretty much a year now of you guys kind of controlling the game in my opinion i think it's fine to have some dps controlling the game for a little bit uh as long as tank eventually gets it which i don't think we're going to to be honest if you want to know my hot take my hot take is i think tank is probably going to remain pretty fucking similar because it seems like they're not really that concerned with it and that's really concerning to me uh but all that being said about the kind of negative down look at the game of the balance they are making good decisions otherwise. Once again, another good one is Mythics. You're going to be able to unlock previous Mythic skins at the end of each Battle Pass now instead of just getting one Mythic skin per Battle Pass. So like, you know, you got Genji Mythic for first season, Tracer for the third or whatever. It was like, you'd get that assigned one. Now you get tokens to buy whatever one you want, which is way better because I'll be honest, there's been multiple seasons now, like the Orisa one, where I see it's Orisa and I just don't care. I just don't, I'm not even going to buy the Battle Pass. Like... I just don't care at all. And then it also is just nice for people like who, for example, this season where Sigma got that really, really, really good mythic. Uh, I was not able to play that entire season. I didn't finish the battle pass, so I never got that mythic Sigma. And that makes me kind of sad because obviously I did like the mythic Sigma. It was a skin, I, a character I actually somewhat like and a role I actually somewhat like. But at the end of the day... I wasn't able to get it and I didn't care that much because it's a skin in a video game but it still was kind of upsetting but now I'm gonna be able to earn it which is really nice because to be honest every single time it was a DPS I I usually looked at it and I was like I do not care because I, I don't play DPS until now now I play DPS and so now I'm a shit at all of them but I wasn't at first um and then I think in that same like vein you're gonna be able to select only certain styles that you choose if you want which is nice because I only really use one style for each of the mythic skins anyway. Uh, I kind of just make it my own. Uh, so that's fine. I, I think that's that's nice. And then the other big thing that's in the same section is you will now earn 600 free Overwatch coins in the free battle pass. And yes, this means that the coins are getting taken away from the quest probably, which is great because those quest challenge for coins, that's terrible. I don't know... That was super FOMO, and I think the people defending saying that the quests aren't that bad and the Overwatch current coins were like easy to earn are lying as well. Actually, it was annoying. It was super annoying for anyone. They made it super out of your way to do it. You had to go to some out of your way tab to even look at the challenges. And then once you are looking at the challenges, they're all like you have to play different roles for each one. It was super annoying. It, it, it felt like they didn't understand. I know it was trying to get people to play different roles, but at this point, bro, you should know. Overwatch players, they don't want to play different roles. 
they learn their one role and they play it sure there are some flex characters and flex people who like to flex and play a lot of different characters that's even me i like to play a lot of them i like to play support i like to play damage i like to play tank i like to play them all um but it was super frustrating still to get on wanting to play reinhardt and then to see oh fuck well i need to finish these challenges so i can get the next battle pass without spending ten dollars uh guess i'm gonna have to grind out some fucking support for 15 hours and it's like this this sucks that uh, that always sucks i hated that but i'm super glad that they're in the battle pass and that they increased it to 600 still i don't really understand what the point is of increasing it to 600 like it's nice but that doesn't really change anything the only change here is that it's in the battle pass now because sure they added like 50 coins or whatever but that's still not enough to do anything. <laughs> that 50 coins isn't really gonna be a deal breaker. Um, so that's like the, the the things we know so far of season 10 right off rip. I think we are also getting a clash map trial thing at the beginning of season 10 is what they said, which that's exciting. Cause I, I I've been thinking we needed a new mode uh, and I'm still not a huge fan of push uh, nor am I a huge fan of flashpoint to be honest, but I'm hoping that this mode is fun and they're taking uh, they're making Hanaoka, which is a remix. Well, not a remix. It's a different part of Hanamura, which I loved. Hanamura was my favorite map art-wise. Uh, and I was really disappointed to see that it was gone permanently from Overwatch 2. I still do think this is one of the biggest, like, shames of Overwatch 2, to be honest. These maps should have been reworked by now. Like, I don't... This uh, We're missing some of the most iconic maps in the game. And their style simply because the mode was bad, which is fair. Um, but if we don't want that, then we should at least like, like, think about it. All these maps we play on now, most of them are pretty much cities or like a temple, like a, like one or two of them are temples, but all of the two CP maps were super like different. Like we had Hanamura, which is a temple and a shrine to ha uh, Hanzo and Genji's family and all that. That shit was super cool. Well, Sky Industries, which is a giant fucking mech factory. It's like, Jesus, this is crazy. Um, and then we got Temple of Anubis, which is super important to the story. And we have all these crazy cool spots that are super unique and different that are completely forgotten and lost because they just didn't make them into a new map, which is, I get it, I, and I know that sounds like me saying that it's super easy, and you guys should just be able to re rework the map super easily. That's not what I'm saying. I understand it would be hard. But what I am saying is you, by now, in my opinion, should have taken a season off to have made all of these maps into the normal game. And they said that. They said they were going to maybe re-add some. I think they did say maybe, so to be fair, I can't hold them accountable to it. But... Like, you did say you were going to work on these maps, and the fact that we're just now in Season 10 getting the first one of them that's reworked is super upsetting. I would much rather have these... Like, I think we, we need to stop working on new maps. We need to rework the old maps first. Because I think there's a lot of people who loved these old maps who are really sad to see them gone. And I know before everyone says, you're going to be like, well, the mode sucks, the mode sucks, the mode sucks. I'm not talking about the fucking mode, okay? I'm talking about the art. I'm talking about the art and the background design and the, the team that put a lot of work and effort into this important design that looks beautiful, that is completely forgotten. And I'm going to be honest, I've said it before on the channel, I did like 2CP. I'm completely okay with those maps, never coming back. And I, you heard it, I like 2CP, so that's a shame that I would never come back. But they need to at least add something back in return, is my problem. Oh, and Horizon. Horizon's the other big one that I always point out. Horizon is so fucking cool. We're in outer space. How do we not have another map in outer space yet? I, to be fair, I think we probably will get one probably in season 12, maybe with the new character since she's ours, but who knows? Um, so that is, oh, and then, okay. And then I guess in season 11, there's another new map called Runasapi, which was like, yeah, it was fine, but I'm, bleh, I don't really care too much about that. But, um, all of that pretty much is good stuff. Which is rare. <laughs> it's super rare for Overwatch. So I did want to make a video talking about it. Because it is actually... Things are looking up. I don't want to say they're looking perfect. I still think things could go uh, a bad way. But I do think it is looking a lot better. Uh, like I said, there's still problems with tank. And still problems with other things. But a lot of things are looking significantly better. And I think you always need to appreciate that. Um, and hey man... Let's hope the Overwatch is going in a good way. I'd love it to, man. I, I I would love it to be. Love it. Um. 
And that's, that's about it for the rambling. Uh, the next video should be a little less ranty. It'll be more, a little more structured, but the, obviously, it's just kind of my thoughts on the season. Since it's been a while since I gave my thoughts on the game, I thought I should make a video just right off rip explaining all of my thoughts on kind of everything in the game right now and how the game's moving forward and my thoughts on it in general. So that, that way we have like a starting point to move forward from. From here on out, expect pretty weekly videos. Some of them are going to be pretty structured, uh, like the Reinhardt rework video that I've been mentioning multiple times in this. I, I do have an actual structured video for that because I believe it's important. Uh, however, a lot of the videos, I'm not going to lie to you, are just going to be me rambling about one or two things like this, kind of. But I hope you enjoyed, uh, and that's about it. Later. Stay safe.